And just like that, we decided to pack our bags, have some quick coffee, and hit the road again to our last and final destination, which was Lone Pine. On the way to Lone Pine, we did experience a beautiful scenery. From change of weather to change of terrain, we also were able to stop at Manzanar. Manzanar was a concentration camp where, unfortunately, thousands and thousands of Japanese Americans were kept hostage when the Pearl Harbor attack happened. I'm not gonna lie guys, this place absolutely gave me the chills. Let me show you guys around. While we were there, we were able to stop and uh, check out and experience the internment camps where over 120,000 Japanese Americans were kept isolated when Pearl Harbor was attacked. And uh, I was absolutely heartbroken. I mean, just knowing that these people were hardworking Americans that were literally taken from their homes. We were able to walk around and uh, look at the bunkers where they slept, you know, the playgrounds where the kids played, where the adults played, the parks. And uh, man, I can't even imagine calling this home, you know, as we worked our way towards the back. Uh, we ran into a cemetery where a lot of people didn't even make it out, you know. Uh, kids were buried there, you know, older folks were buried there. And uh, I mean, just to think that you get everything you worked for taken away from you and put in isolation. Can't even imagine what these people actually went through. All right, guys. So after driving two hours from Mammoths to Lone Pine, we finally made it to our final destination by the way did you guys trip out on that manzanar concentration camp it was it was crazy to experience it but now we are back in our natural habitat we are going to be shooting all day we're going to be cooking an easy meal because i am tired of cooking i've been cooking every day by the way if you guys enjoy those cooking videos let me know down below in the bio and let me know what's your favorite dish so far but we're pretty much going to set up Get everything going it is really hot out here so we're gonna make sure that the awning is all set up and deployed and hopefully it's enough to keep us cool let's go check it out guys edward is over there vlogging on top of the rock hopefully there he is like he said all right guys location number five by the way if you guys want to watch his videos i'll link it down below in the bio check them out look at him So for today's lunch, we're gonna keep it really simple. We're gonna be doing some Jack Daniels barbecue pulled pork with some Hawaiian bread along with some jalapeno cheese. This meal is pretty straightforward. All we're gonna be doing is grabbing the pulled pork. We're gonna be adding it to the scuttle. We're gonna let it kind of sizzle, let it get nice and warm. Keep in mind, this pulled pork is already pre-cooked. So all we're doing is just warming it up. 
So now that the pulled pork is nice and warm and crispy, all we're gonna do is grab our bread, we're gonna put it on the outer side of the squaddle to make sure it doesn't get burnt. And all we're gonna do is grab some cheese, we're gonna place it on top of the pulled pork, let it melt, and then we're gonna just assemble the sandwich and we're gonna get to eat. All right guys, so a simple meal. Uh, basically what it is is Jack Daniels pulled pork. You can find them at your local grocery store. Hawaiian bread and a little bit of jalapeno white cheese. And uh, we've been eating pretty fancy. I think this is uh, not necessarily fancy, but when you're tired, everything is good. And I think this is a perfect easy meal that we can just cook and eat right away. Yeah. You wanna try I'm it? Excited, yeah. All right. Grab this one here. Cheers. Cheers. So sweet. Mm -hmm. That's good. The sweetness, and you get that hint of the jalapeno. Yeah. Oh man. Perfect, simple meal. I'm yeah. telling you. You can find this stuff less than 25 bucks. You get this. You'll feed two people, three people. Mm -hmm, for sure. Dude, this is way better than yesterday's dinner. <laughs> You're just saying that because we didn't have, we literally ran out of food. Yeah. I we, mean, we had, we had a little bit. We we're going to try something, but we're just tired. So. <laughs> This is what, this is what was in mind. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna trip out. So we had Fritos, and then we had a little bit of leftover sirloin, mm -hmm. and then we also had tomatoes, like the little grape tomatoes, cheese, cheese, and that's oh, it. We had beans. We had uh, the beans in the box. Oh yeah, the big the, they're like canned uh, baked beans. <laughs> so we were gonna make. I think it's the the. Latino slash like <laughs> South American area, <laughs> yeah. like gene of us. Like we were gonna make some um, like carne asada nachos, but yeah. with like cheese, Fritos, and um, baked beans. And baked beans. <laughs> that would have been really bad, dude. <laughs> you know, for sure, how to use that toilet, <laughs> <laughs> bro? <laughs> this guy. It was a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Those cows were everywhere, and they yeah. moo, they mooed, moo, like at four in the morning. Yeah, like they, they were like they started hurting in, hurting in. They were like mating. <laughs> They're making some weird noises. I thought it was Edward. <laughs> Cochino. No, <laughs> but overall, that spot was amazing. If you guys haven't checked out that vlog, go back second to last vlog from this video check that video out it's insane and if you're new to the channel and you're watching this video because you just landed on it we went on a four night five day trip uh shooting not only our content but shooting content for a couple of companies and um it was a blast yeah. and we filmed a bunch of different vlogs he has a youtube channel uh troll ready forerunner yeah. you can check him out on youtube and on instagram and obviously you're here, Busted Beach, George. And uh, we basically just documented the whole entire experience. We ate good food, went to a di bunch of different locations up to yeah. 395, and uh, it was absolutely a blast. Yeah. So if you're looking to have a blast in your bedroom, in your living room, watch these videos, go back, watch the rest of the videos. Yeah. It's good times. And you might get some ideas. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah. where to go, what to cook, what kind of gear works for certain type of atmospheres or like type of environments yeah. so i hope these videos help and i hope you guys are enjoying them so enough said we're gonna finish this food anything edward no no we're gonna finish this food and then we're gonna go climb some boulders and see uh see what what kind of damage we can do i think we're gonna someone's gonna roll an ankle oh, and it's not gonna be me hell no i gotta drive <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in a bit all right guys so now that we're done eating Let's go walk around and see what this place is all about. I'll tell you this much, this is a place that looks literally, it looks fake like you're at Disneyland or something. It looks completely unreal. Check it out. Guys, check out the structure here to the left. Absolutely 
crazy. I mean, this is something that I've never seen ever in my life, at least not where we're from or anywhere else. Man, it's just absolutely crazy. It almost seems like at some point, this place was completely underwater because that's, I mean, there's boulders absolutely everywhere. So this Jeep Glider actually belongs to Frontrunner. This is a company truck, but I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of what exactly it has. So we do have 1552 wheels. We do have the open country toil tires. Obviously this is a Frontrunner vehicle. So we have Frontrunner accessories, roof racks, bed racks, max tracks, the tents, everything is Frontrunner. And let me tell you something, I've been driving this for the past five days and this thing is absolutely capable and it's functional. Now, when it comes down to my wife's Jeep, this thing was built in literally five days and we've done quite a lot of things to it. So we do have a front runner roof rack, front runner tent. We do have a Weston front bumper, which is gonna be going bye-bye very soon. We're gonna be going Rebel off-road all around, sliders, front and rear bumpers. Now, if you look closely, we do have a total of nine Amber LP6s. These are driving combos these are absolutely insanely bright this will blind someone in front of you this will scare any type of deer that wants to cross your path and it will literally guide your way home now when it comes down to our wheel setup yes you might be tripping out and you're not tripping out because yes these are t37s yep forge made for a jeep insane right as far as the tires, we do have some Yokohama Geolanders. These are 37 inch tires. These are probably some of the best tires that I've had ever. And I say that because I also have the same tires on my Toyota Tacoma. As far as the suspension goes, we don't have anything fancy. We do have some Fox 2.0s with the extra resi, along with some rock crawler springs, which gives it a pretty good lift. This thing is sitting at 4.5 inches. I personally think that a 4.5 inch lift is a perfect size lift for a Jeep JK. Uh, I still have to do some modifications because we are rubbing in the back pretty bad. It's so bad that it's actually gashing our tires, but that is something that we're gonna be taking care of as soon as we get home. The past four to five days have been absolutely amazing. It's been tiring. I tell you this much, I cannot wait to go back and sleep in my own bed with my wife. I cannot wait to take a shower. We haven't showered, but you know what? I'm not complaining. Those are the little things that I do look forward to seeing, especially my wife. But man, I would totally, totally do this again every month. If I could go out here every month, not necessarily in this location, but just travel all over the United States and just kind of see places and bring you guys along through these videos, man, that's like, that would be a dream come true. So I wanna thank you guys so much for always tuning in, for always watching. I mean, these videos are literally, I mean, they're, they're, they're part of me. And, and the fact that you guys are here watching this with me and experiencing this with me, maybe not right now, but through a video, I mean, that is what it's all about. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed these videos, by the way, I am out of breath, I'm walking around, it's so hot. But if you guys enjoyed these videos and you guys want to continue watching more adventure videos, Jeep videos, Toyota videos, and just camping videos in general, please subscribe, tell a friend about the channel, and you already know, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And let that awesome B-roll outro kick in. Boom. <laughs>